Good morning, Glories. A blessed Monday morning to you. Hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Let's get a little music going. Just for a minute or so while we wait for our group. Let's praise God with our mother this morning. In this new day. Good morning, Jesus. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit exalts in God my Savior. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. On a certain Sabbath, Jesus went into the synagogue and taught, and there was a man there whose right hand was withered. The scribes and the Pharisees watched him closely to see if he would cure on the Sabbath so that they might discover a reason to accuse him. But he realized their intentions and said to the man with the withered hand, Come up and stand before us. And he rose and stood there. Then Jesus said to them, I ask you, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil? To save life rather than to destroy it? Looking around at them all, he then said to him, Stretch out your hand. He did so, and his hand was restored. Excuse me. But they became enraged and discussed together what they might do to Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our morning offering. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart. In union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, for the salvation of souls, the reparation of sins, the reunion of all Christians, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father this month. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, glories. Time to rise and shine. Today is Monday, September 11th. 
we remember today in a very special way those who lost their lives on this date in so 2001 was was that 9/11 2001 um and we lift them up and all those who are still grieving the death of their loved ones as a result of terrorism here in the United States. We pray for all victims of terrorism and we pray for peace and for conversion of those who intend to do evil. Today is the feast day of St. Jean-Gabriel Perboyer, P-E-R-B-O-Y-R-E, Perboyer. He was born in 1802, one of eight children in a farming to a farming family in France. A pious child, he served as a model of virtue for his childhood companions. He discerned a call to the priesthood and joined the Vincentians along with a younger brother with the full support of his parents. He served as a seminary professor for many years, and his sanctity impressed even his superiors. He longed to serve in the missions to China but his poor health prevented him and his brother was sent instead. He prayed and begged to also be sent to preach in China and to suffer martyrdom there. After his brother died on the voyage to China, Jean-Gabriel was allowed to take his place in the mission. He arrived in China in 1835, and his labors there were met with great success. In 1839, persecutions broke out against the Christian missionaries, and Jean-Gabriel was one of the first to be arrested. The events leading to his death bear a striking resemblance to the passion and death of Christ. He was betrayed to the authorities by one of his new converts for 30 pieces of silver, stripped of his garments, and clothed with rags, bound and dragged from tribunal to tribunal. At each trial he was brutally treated and tortured. He was finally condemned to death along with seven other criminals on September 11, 1840. He was martyred by being strangled to death as he hung on a cross. Wow. Today, September 11th, is his feast day. St. Jean-Gabriel, we, what a heroic witness you give to us. And we pray for the same courage to follow Jesus wherever he leads. Amen. So, friends, today is Monday, and we'll be praying the joyful mysteries for all of your intentions. I hope we have some new morning glories today after my visit to Alexandria, Louisiana, for the Genesis of Eve conference, where I spent the weekend with my friend Sarah Christmeyer. Sarah, if you've ever done the Great Adventure Bible Timeline, Sarah wrote all of the materials for that book study. And um, she had done that actually first, and then Jeff Cavins ended up doing videos for it. But that study is Sarah's baby, and she did such a beautiful job. She's a convert to the faith and um, a descendant from many generations of Protestant Catholic missionaries who truly loved the Lord and brought many people to Christ, even those like in places where the gospel had never been, never reached before. So um, I just love Sarah. She's such a deep well, a real contemplative, and um, I just have so much to learn from her. But anyway, it was a beautiful weekend, and um, she asked if I would sing at the end of her talk, which I did, and um, I got to meet a lot of morning glories there, which was so special, and got to hug them in person and hear some of their stories. And um, it's just beautiful to meet you all in person. And so I invited some others to join us. I hope that they're here as Our Lady weaves her tapestry of her, her daughters and sons across the nations. So um, we'll be praying the joyful mysteries. You're welcome to put your intentions on Instagram or on YouTube, and we will pray for you. I also want to lift up in a special way. Um, we were praying for Danielle and her baby Turner, Danielle, had preeclampsia, and she had an emergency delivery on Saturday. Baby Turner um, was delivered and cried, so that was great news, a beautiful sound to hear. And she is two pounds and very tiny. And Danielle, of course, um, had to have this emergency surgery. So we just pray for Danielle's continued recovery and for baby Turner to grow and thrive under the love of the Lord Jesus. 
So thank you all for your prayers for them. We pray for all who are pregnant right now and those in any kind of distress. So um, let's see. Today we have, let's see. Oh, we also have an urgent. Be sure to put urgent in all caps so I see it. I just happened to see this from Kay for Russ in his final hours and for his family where we pray for, for Russ's soul and that you will receive him, Lord, and Mother Mary, that you also would be there to receive his soul and for his whole family and continued prayers for Frank, who is also in his final days for his conversion and that he would accept the final sacraments um, being offered to him from the church. Yes, and St. Joseph, we pray especially for your intercession for him. Let me see if there's anything else urgent. So for those of you who are new, if there's an, all of your prayer requests are important, but if there's something urgent, matter of life and death kind of things, please put urgent in all caps and go to in, to YouTube, youtube.com slash Kitty Cleveland. And um, then I'll see it because, you know, I'm getting old. <laughs> so it helps me to see your urgent intentions. And that way I can read them out loud. So make sure that everyone sees them and hears them. Okay, let's see. I don't see anything else urgent on YouTube. Okay. So today, um, Terry is going to be praying with me. So let me bring Terry on. Terry's all, I always count on Terry to pray with me. There we go. Put her on in just a sec. So Terry, I just clicked accept. Let me turn up my microphone here a bit. There we go. Good morning, Glory. Good morning. Lovely to have you with us this morning, Terry. What can we pray for for you today, hon? Well, I'm going to pray, first of all, for my son, who is completing his 48-mile trek or hike from the north end of the Grand Canyon to the south end and then from the south end to the north end. He's finishing the second part today. So I would like to of his soul to return to the faith uh, by being in all that beauty and mm. understand the source of it. He believes in God, but he does not practice the faith, our Catholic faith. Yes. So I'm hoping Jesus touches him during that hike. Amen. And let's just lift up all of our children who have left the faith that the Lord will use whatever it takes to bring them back to him. Whether it's beauty, whether it's a tragedy, whatever it takes, Lord, for their souls to be saved. And also there is one more urgent request from Adrian. Um, cancer has spread to dad Jimmy's brain, and he is against confession and reconciliation. So we're praying for also a deathbed conversion for Jimmy. Amen. All right, friends, so let us begin. One other request, that we continue to pray for Ashley Taylor, Covington mom, who continues to struggle with healing from her lung infection. Yes, I'm, I think she has three or four little children and yeah. it's mm -hmm. a matter of life and death. So, yes, we yes. lift up Ashley. Praise so God. All the miracles and the holiness of that, those grounds are helping him heal. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, friends, today is the 11th, and so we will um, begin our Surrender Novena Day 1. And also, I got a lot of requests about the doing the the Holy Cloak of St. Joseph Novena. Christine Watkins did an urgent request for that to pray for Pope Francis. Pope Francis asked for prayers to St. Joseph for him, especially as this synod is, the Synod on Synodality is taking place in October, and there are a number of um, in the hierarchy who wish to hijack the teachings of the church, which of course cannot be changed, but there is the 
possibility of schism. And so we pray for St. Joseph's special intercession for Pope Francis, that he will guide us through these rough waters according to the heart of God. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Oh, and as far as that novena goes, so I have asked um, Toby, Toby, check your messages, to be the one to lead that cloak of of St. Joseph Novena on our Facebook page, Kitty's Morning Glories Facebook page, uh, because it's an additional half an hour. So um, if, as Toby suggested praying it, so I'm like, guess what happens when you suggest it? <laughs> you get to do it. So um, it's really on her heart. So we'll see what happens with all of that. If, I believe it began this weekend, but it, and it started on the 8th, but it ends on October 7th, just like our very first 54-day Rosary Novena and on October 7th. So I think it would really be a beautiful thing for us to do together. Okay. Toby, balls in your court, my love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Why do you confuse yourselves by worrying? Leave the care of your affairs to me, says the Lord, and everything will be peaceful. I say to you in truth that every act of true, blind, complete surrender to me produces the effect that you desire and resolves all difficult situations. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. Mother Mary, I am yours now and forever. Through you and with you, I always want to belong completely to Jesus. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. I just realized I didn't pray my usual prayer intentions. So all of our usual intentions we lift up and in a special way for all who will die today, Lord. We lift them up to you and ask you to have mercy upon them. For the Holy Father's holy intentions, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase in faith, hope, and love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The first joyful mystery, the Annunciation of the Angel to Mary. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, 
and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, favored one, the Lord is with you. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. The fruit of this mystery is humility. Let's enter into this scene with our mother, so pure, lovely, young, and innocent, and devoted to the things of God, even at such a young age. I'm sure she was in prayer at this moment. And what a beautiful example she sets for us as our mother in this school of Mary. The rosary is the school of Mary. And so we can look at each mystery through her eyes and learn from her. And mother, Mama, what we learn from you in this mystery is to be men and women of prayer, of attentiveness, to the Holy Spirit, and to the prompts that come to us each day, whether just from the duties of our state and life or from specific special intentions or um, inspirations during our prayer time. May we, like you, have humility and docility in approaching the throne of God. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for all sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for all sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second joyful mystery, the visitation of Mary to Elizabeth. During those days... Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste 
to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. The fruit of this mystery is love of neighbor. My heart is so full from the weekend at the Genesis of Eve conference in Alexandria. I believe there are 800 women gathered. And just to be with Sarah and to share a room with her, I haven't seen Sarah since before COVID hit. And just to be together and to pray with each other and for each other and to meet so many morning glories for the first time in person and just to reunite with others. And it's all under the mantle of Mary. And y'all, there's just so much rejoicing being children of Mary. She brings her family together and there's an instant kinship, um, an instant love and a joy in being in each other's presence. And that's how I feel being with you all each morning. This whole thing is such a miracle. And I feel like we sort of, I, I don't know, it's, it's something other, <laughs> something that heaven has done. And it is so good to be under the mantle of our mother together, rejoicing and recognizing Christ in each other, the Holy Spirit alive in you and in me. This is a foretaste of heaven. And so, Mother, thank you for bringing to us real friends and family, family, the family of Jesus that we have been adopted into. And, Mother, we ask that you continue to teach us the ways of God and help us to be conformed to your virtues, especially that virtue of hospitality and of kindness. Amen. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third joyful mystery, the nativity of Jesus in Bethlehem. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. The fruit of this mystery is poverty of spirit and detachment. Let's enter the cave in Bethlehem with our mother, with St. Joseph. In fact, let's take refuge under his holy cloak and observe this beautiful scene of Mary nursing baby Jesus, maybe humming a little lullaby to him, keeping him warm in this cold cave. And let's just draw very close, kiss his little feet. Little Jesus, we love you. He was born to die for you and for me. And a sword would pierce Mary's heart for you and for me. We love you, Lord. We love you, Mama. We love you, St. Joseph. Teach us how to put our entire lives, center them on Jesus and everything else will come together when Jesus is in the proper place. You are our riches, Lord. You are our treasure. You are our inheritance. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for all sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for all sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation of Jesus in the temple. When the days were completed for their purification, according to the law of Moses, they took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord, (coughs) Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord, and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate and the law of the Lord. The fruit of this mystery is obedience to the moral law. It is so simple. It's really very simple. The walk with Jesus. The walk of obedience to the moral law. We're the ones who complicate things. Or who like just to argue or throw up excuses, rationalizations. And it's very simple. It's not easy. Otherwise, the whole world would do it. Obedience, though, is simple. But it requires us to die to our pride. And as I was meditating on the gospel this morning, I just was so struck by the hardness of the hearts of the scribes and Pharisees that they would totally miss the goodness and the beauty of God as Jesus did good on the Sabbath, as he healed on the Sabbath. And there they were with a microscope looking to the letter of the law rather than the spirit of the law to do good, to give life, to bring healing, and not to be so bound up in the the details of the law that they missed the real spirit of it. Now, that also has been abused by people Um, but in a true sense of obedience to the spirit of the moral law, Lord, may we not be caught up in scrupulosity, um, in making sure we dot all of our I's and cross all of our T's, which is really often a matter of pride rather than conformity of our hearts to yours. And Mother Mary, help us to be conformed to Jesus' sacred heart, and to your immaculate heart. It's a matter of the heart, not of perfection in all of the details. And may we be faithful to all that God is asking us to do today. Amen. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth joyful mystery, the finding of Jesus in the temple. After they had completed its days as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Thinking that he was in the caravan, they journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances. But not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. The fruit of this mystery is the joy in finding Jesus. I happen to see just now that Anna Mills is back on YouTube today. She just had back surgery and she's in a whole lot of pain. And um, if you've ever had back surgery, and I have, Anna, I know that pain well. And so we pray for you right now and I ask Lord Jesus, that you would even release a joy right now, even in the midst of the agony, something only you can do, Lord. And I ask, Lord, if we may, Anna, um, to lift you up as we ask for healing. Also, Lord Jesus, we ask that you would transform her suffering and of any other morning glories right now, um, that we would unite it, Lord, to your cross your saving cross, and that there would be graces won right now for the salvation of the souls that we're praying for in a special way today. Um, For Frank, and I forget the other names, but of the other people who are in their last days and hours and have yet to convert. Lord, we pray that this would be a share in the redemptive glory of your cross, that would be a part of Anna's crown and all those who are suffering right now whether physically or morally, that they would get to share in the salvation of souls with you right now, Lord. Don't let any of it be wasted. Lord, just take it all and may souls be saved as a result of their faithful witness and their perseverance until you bring about the full healing, both for them and for those Um, that you're using this suffering for. Thank you, Lord. And I think actually our first reading today, if I'm not mistaken with St. Paul saying, I make up in in my body what is lacking in the sufferings of Christ. 
Yes. So this is today's reading from Paul's letter to the Colossians. Um, first letter, uh, verse 20, sorry, 1, 24 through 2, 3. Brothers and sisters, I rejoice in my sufferings for your sake, and in my flesh I am filling up what is lacking in the afflictions of Christ on behalf of his body, which is the church. And so, Lord... Um, we thank you, and I pray just that for a release of joy as they connect with the intimacy of you within them, offering this up to the Father for the salvation of souls. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. And now our extra Hail Mary for all of our birthdays today. Happy birthday, friends. We love you so much. Jesus loves you, too. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Say
Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And now Terry's Memorari for all of your intentions. And now, Pope Leo XIII's prayer to our poppy, St. Joseph, our perpetual novena to St. Joseph, to whom we are consecrated. To you, O blessed Joseph, we have recourse in our affliction, and having implored the help of your thrice holy spouse, we now, with hearts filled with confidence, earnestly beg you to take us also under your protection. Defend, O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, the chosen offspring of Jesus Christ. Keep from us, O most loving Father, all blight of error and corruption. Aid us from on high, most valiant defender in this conflict with the powers of darkness. As you once rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now defend God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield us ever under your patronage, that following your example and strengthened by your help, we may live a holy life, die a happy death, and attain to everlasting bliss in heaven. Amen. Amen. Saint Jean Gabriel, Père Boyer. Saint Joseph, Terror of Demons. Mother Mary, Guardian of the Faith. Our Lady Star of the Sea, Our Lady of Guadalupe, of Fatima, of Lourdes, of Cabejo, of La Salette, Our Lady of Champion, St. Joan of Arc, St. Peter, St. Charbel, St. Pio of Pietrelcina, Father Ubald, Father Marty Gleason, Sister Claire Crockett, Deacon Carl Cleveland, Elise Angelette, Father Otis Young, Ruth Pratz, and Father Mark Beard. All you holy men and women of God. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much, Terry. It is already 6.52. I'm sorry? Oh, yes. Thank you for reminding me. Where is my card? Yes, let me do that. I've got it here. Thank you. Um, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my adorable Jesus, may our feet journey together. May our hands gather in unity. May our hearts beat in unison. May our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. May our lips pray together to gain mercy from the Eternal Father, Amen. And Mother Mary, spread the effective grace of thy flame of love over all humanity. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So, um, friends, I just want to mention, if you're still waiting on your journals, I needed to order another 50 journals of the, the hardcover, beautiful ones that, um, that are replacing many of the spiral orders. And so... Um, I apologize for the delay on that, but I ordered them last week, so I'm hoping they come in this week. And I will also today start shipping out the mugs. Thanks be to God. And again, you know, y'all have been so good to me <laughs> and so patient with me because, you know, I have these great ideas, but then the actual execution takes me a little bit longer than I think it will because, you know, my life is full. 
and I know your lives are full as well. But thank you, thank you, thank you for your patience. Everyone to a single person has been kind and understanding, and I really, really appreciate you, and I hope you love your journals. I'm getting great feedback on the journals, so I'm glad you love them, and um, I pray that you can use them during our prayer time and to jot down little things the Holy Spirit is whispering to your heart as we pray together. I want to also mention that um, I am really feeling a nudge, and I've got to discern it completely, but to start doing, to really pour into Louisiana and to start traveling the state and doing missions in particular areas for some days at a time, and to really gather in more morning glories. Um, and I, especially as we approach the month of October, which is dedicated to the Holy Rosary, I want to invite you to start inviting more people to join us. Um, I just sense, uh, again, I guess a little, um, a peaceful urgency from Our Lady that we bring more people in to this network of love spread all over the world um, that we bring more people into this group. And, you know, when we first started, today, by the way, is day 28 of the original 54-day Rosary Novena. So the first 27 days are in petition, and the second 28 days were in thanksgiving. And so I, I've, my heart is so full of thanksgiving for all that the Lord and Our Lady have done through this rosary, all the prayers answered, all of the graces obtained for the kingdom over these last three plus years. Um, but I remember saying at the very beginning, there were just 80 people on the first day when we started. And um, of course, I had only gotten the inspiration the day before. So the Holy Spirit brought 80 people together that first morning. I think most of whom are still praying with us. And I said, y'all, I'm seeing like a thousand people. And now we've got 3,000 people in our Facebook group. But I would love it. I'm just seeing a thousand people live. And we're between usually 350 and 400 people live right now. Um, but there's something very, very special about praying together live. And I really, really want to call on my Louisiana morning glories. And I'm going to start spreading Our Lady's mantle and pulling more people in by traveling. I feel like that I'm really called to do that, like in my car with my husband, my precious husband, Mel. And I really need his help and his, his protection, you know. Um, but to start coming to parishes free of charge and to distribute the sounds of peace players and to pull more people into the live rosary. So I need your help to do that. And if you would like me to come to your parish in Louisiana, um, I'll probably need somebody, if someone's willing to help coordinate this for me and take the emails and maybe help map it out. But I'm. this is probably premature for me to say it, but you know how I am. I'm going to go ahead and say it anyway. I think my first concert, my first, like it's, I'll probably do a Sounds of Peace concert and distribute the Sounds of Peace players um, across Louisiana and maybe the, in Mississippi too. But um, the first stop I think is supposed to be St. Margaret of Scotland in Albany because she is my distant grandmother. And yesterday or Saturday, I was I had the opportunity to be blessed by Father Kennedy in Alexandria with a first class relic of Saint Margaret of Scotland. It was really special, and I just feel like, as my distant grandmother, that she is interceding in a special way, and that I should begin there. So we'll see. The pastor doesn't even know this yet, <laughs> but I know we have some morning glories, Sandra Fulmer, who are occasional parishioners at St. Margaret of Scotland. So we'll see what happens. Um, so I just say fiat, whatever God wants. And um, if you would like me to come to your parish and you think your pastor would be open to me coming to do a free Sounds of Peace concert, <clears throat> um, send me an email, kitty at kittycleveland.com. <coughs> Excuse me. And we'll start putting that together. Um, okay, so it is already 6.58. Terry, is there a particular song you were wanting this morning, or would you like me to choose for, to send us off into our Monday? I'll let you choose. Okay. Well, I really want to do something for Anna and for all of you who are in, 
in any kind of pain and just to entrust you to our mother, just as she stood at the foot of cro the cross with Jesus and brought him so much comfort and consolation. Mother Mary, I ask you to go to the bedside of all of your children who are in pain right now, especially our precious morning glories. And so, let's see. Let's do something that's easy and calm and sweet and not too hard on the nerves. So how about just the simple Ave Maria chanted for you, okay? This is the song of the saints, this ancient hymn to Our Lady. And we ask them to sing with me this Ave Maria to our mother for all of you. Amen. Oops, wrong one, sorry. Let me try that again. Okay. Let many details who do service to me Much love to you on this Monday morning. God be with you, and we will see you tomorrow. This is Kitty and Aries. and Bosco <laughs> signing off until tomorrow. We love you. Have a beautiful, blessed day. See you then.